we are now at the Goodwill in Little River, South Carolina. We usually uh, don't go to this one. We pass this one actually on our way to church. We drive like an hour and a half to church. And uh, this one used to be our favorite. I used to walk in here one time and found like $500 worth of cameras. We haven't been in this Goodwill probably for more than a year. So we're gonna go in here and see if they changed anything up. I wonder if Kayla wants to buy another, uh, another rug. She wants to buy another rug. Our rug still hasn't sold if anybody's wondering. We got a, I do see a Emerson uh, CD player over there. It looks pretty nifty. There's probably a 99% chance that this thing does not work. Um, we're going to plug it in. I guarantee the motorized part probably isn't even going to work. These three should light up. I ain't got nothing. I got something. Everything's blue. I got a feeling that these doors don't open. Okay, go to CD, play mode, mm. band, function. No. Nope. FM, that'd be the CD function it does switch between cds it just you got it oh just came alive dang that might actually work nine dollars is a lot these things usually go for like 90. well i got her working now hmm Remote auto. See that one went for pre-owned 120, free ship, 70, 62, one. The one I have never sold though. That's the issue. As I sit here and run through the sold comps, the model that I have actually has never sold. It was listed for $90 with the remote. So I do end up just putting this in the buggy. Walking around the Goodwill for like 30 minutes, I end up actually putting this one back. Bowling balls here. There's a lot of bowlers around here. What we got here? This one's all jacked up. I can feel it. Storm. T-Zone. I'm telling you, man, we sell these things for like, we just sold one for 45 bucks. Um, bowling balls do sell for us. How much are they asking for this whole thing? Damn, that's free. Double roller, bag, all used one year. This guy really liked his bowling stuff. Doesn't have a, doesn't have a price. What is that bad boy here? The cube. Oh man, I think I've heard of you before. It's always funny when your brain elator starts going off like, wait a second. It's cube three. Does this thing have a number on it? Card. Cube cards. Yeah, cube three. So the Cube 3 actually rang a bell in my head because I've sold one of their bags before for like $150. And these push cards actually where I live are very desirable on Facebook Marketplace at the right season. This is not the right season, but it was only $10 in the Goodwill. And brand new, they go for $250. Bucks. Used, there's a whole bunch listed for $170 free shipping. We could put this in the booth actually, and maybe that way, you know, somebody would want it for 50 bucks. But I honestly think they're going to sell it online. They're not that hard to ship because they do fold down. So I'm thinking about 125 plus shipping. What are we working with here? Brakes work? Oh, yeah. What you got there? Would your dad need some hearing aid batteries? batteries? Maybe, probably. Oh, we all need batteries. This one's not bad. All right, now here's the problem. How does she fold up? You know what I'm saying? Cause I bet you this is easily, there's something for like a, I bet you can get 170 for this thing. Or a local sale in the summertime. I would think. How do you fold up? 
Oh, okay, I'll turn the camera. I'll figure out how to fold this thing up. All right, about 45 minutes. I finally got that thing in the cart. It's in good condition. Really think it's gonna sell for over $100. It's a good brand. $64.99. That's pretty good. Aren't they like $200 at the Crackle Barrel? I mean, she works. Look. No. no. Huh? You think? Toy Story, is it old? I don't think so. No? Mm. Look at this. Ooh. By Hilda. That's nice. Hmm. Maybe. Alright, this thing right here is probably the most overlooked item in the Goodwill. Um, this is actually in really, really good condition too, and usually that they are. This one doesn't have the bolts, obviously, and it's a TV stand. It's, uh, a lot of people hang them on the walls, or they used to, and then they'll lose the stand or throw it away, not knowing exactly if they're ever going to use it again, and then they need the stand back. Uh, the bolts really don't matter, they're just regular bolts you can buy. This one's for LG O LED. It's five dollars, and it has the markings on the back. If they're like OEM stuff, it always have the marking on the back, the plate number, the model number and then what it goes to this goes to a 55 to a 65 inch and the base is a b6 and this is easy 50 bucks plus shipping probably i've seen them as high as like 79 free shipping or whatever it is heavy but for five bucks you're easy on 10 times your money on these things so always take a look out for them this one's in beautiful condition so probably on the higher end but uh tv stands who would have thought but they sell really really well on ebay for us so after a year it didn't really change much it just really is a little bit higher price that's all but we did find this is i think the best find in there this might be a local sale or we might sell it online they go for uh, anywhere between 175 and 250 new and it is the cube 3 cart it, it's actually really nice it has a brake on it super super lightweight shipping shouldn't should not be that bad because it does um actually fold up and i might actually take this off and then just you know say assembly required or some assembly required because then you can really put this in a smaller box the reason why it would be a lot of shipping is because of this piece right here if you take that off that's not a big deal and then i think honestly that one's listed for 170 plus shipping i think probably about 120 plus shipping or a local sale for 100 bucks but i got it for 10 so that ain't bad on to the next goodwill that we haven't been to in a long time all right we're actually at the thrift store salvation army thanks for my phone in north myrtle beach on main street check her out this is actually we very rarely go to this one but when we do we find some good stuff we go here see what we can find a flip online for a profit check this bad boy out here we gotta move away from this loud speaker oh my goodness you gotta be kidding me oh uh, that thing's pretty beat there's another all clad here it's a gorilla. It's for three bucks, but it's missing its Teflon. That's a shame. The other one we got wasn't missing a Teflon. It was just a little bit damaged, but this one's completely missing it. Um, I might still look that up to see if that's, but yeah, that's, that come off in your food. That ain't no good. Next thing you know, you'll be, I'll be sliding through you. But we did pick up a Fiesta Ware teapot. Good condition, no chips whatsoever. If yes, where it's very easy to find, this is probably 40 bucks. Um, I saw one for like over 100. I don't think that that's the correct amount of money, but I'm thinking 40 bucks in that bad boy. That is sad. Gosh, God. I like still here. It's like a wind chime of. super nice these i've never seen these before these are nike air max rollerblades they're in good condition the bubble's not broken in the back it's a little crunchy it looks like they go for like uh 70 bucks 80 bucks it's not really rollerblade season but they're not in bad condition 
Not falling apart. What size are they? Size, I'm guessing it's a women's size eight. I think that that's a buy for eight dollars. So that ain't too bad. Yeah, women's right there. So it's a women's size eight. I'm gonna need a buggy or here or something. Okay, let's up. They don't have buggies here. That's pretty cool. Did you find anything? Um, I found these. Oh, nice. And then it's an easel. Another. Well, we didn't buy that other oh, one. Oh, we didn't buy the this, other one? This will be better. Gotcha. It's more they don't, they have buggies here? Um, I don't know. Who's that? The data thing. Interesting. So that place is not conducive to any type of filming. It's like close quarter combat when it comes to thrifting, right? Yeah. That was the tightest. It's, it's crazy. They like added stuff and you can't just, it is what it is. But you found, uh, we did show everything else that we found, but we found these at the last minute. Uh, I think we got charged $5.99, but it says $4.99 and $5.99. At least they didn't charge us like $10 and added it together. These are Kohans. Kohans are pretty good. I like the zero grand, but if they do have the Nike Air soles, as you can tell right there, they actually sell probably for 30 bucks. And uh, so we picked them up for $6. And then that's it. I think you got a sweatshirt. Yep. So you got a sweatshirt. We got this stuff. I'll tell you. Easel oh, and you booth. got an easel for the booth. Look at that. Now, is that yeah. something you can actually write on and erase? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's chalk? Yeah. That's very nice. All right, let's go get some lunch. So, the best place we think for lunch is Bulanos. A little trivia. We're not going to take you in and like have you eat with us because that would be weird. <laughs> but um, the little trivia from us is that they actually catered our wedding. Yes, they did. There, so this is like they a did little, a very good job. Very good job. So we're going to go in here and eat lunch uh, and have like a little reminiscence of, well, I think I want to get banana pudding. Was that at our wedding? It was. I want to go get some banana pudding. Out at the booth, we've been notified by my parents because my parents come up here like every other day to check our booth out because they live straight down the road, um, that we sold a ton of stuff again. So we're going to go in there and fill it back up. We have a whole bunch of cool uh, ornaments that we're going to put in here. It seems like Christmas stuff is flying off the shelf. So let's go in there. Again, this is after our Goodwill trips. We're going to go in there and uh, see what's sold and then see if anybody new came in and then also restock the booth. All right, looks like we had Matthew come in from Rhode Island. We do appreciate it. Also, we had uh, Tony come in, correct? Mm -hmm. So we go ahead and she posted a picture. We'll post a picture up right here. We do appreciate it. We also sold all our snow babies. That looks like that's the only thing we sold, right? Yep, we have one, We have two. Well, we just put this one in there. We just put this one in here. I think we had, what, five in here? So, so it turns out snow babies, and we're selling for $6 a piece. Um, and actually on eBay, you really can't get much more than that for the for certain snow babies. The I care about you one goes for pretty decent. So we're gonna go home. So not a terrible day out there thrifting. A couple big items that made our day. If you can make like $300 a day out there at the thrift stores, that ain't too bad. As you notice, we're actually picking up stuff that's gonna be selling like further in the spring. Our Christmas stuff has already been listed. It's been listed for a long time. This um, I'm videoing this like mid-December. So everything Christmas is boop, good to go. We are now looking forward into the spring and starting to you know pile up on golf clubs, like swim stuff, any type of outdoor stuff or like fishing because that stuff is gonna start selling faster than you know because we're always a couple months ahead of what's going to happen. We're trying never to scramble. Like, oh, we need outdoor stuff. So we just kind of compile it. We list a little bit of it. We save a little bit of it. Then we'll start listing hard on that stuff when the time comes. I do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always get you on the next one.